Hi everybody, it's Monica from Bear Tree Treasures, and I'm here to share with you what I am going to call the perfect picture pull out. Okay, as you pull it out, and it fits a four by six picture perfectly. Okay, I need a picture here. Oh, there's a picture. It's from my trip to Algonquin. And it fits the page here. Let me put some navy in behind here to show you. Okay, and you can see that it fits the picture perfectly. And it also gives you enough room so you can mat the picture in behind if you want to. This side as well, you can put another picture. Um, I know a lot of you have the selfies or the Kodak, or this is from my selfie printer. Uh, some people have the Kodak. And I know it prints out smaller ones. My daughter has the Instax camera. And I'm going to actually make her an album. And I'm going to use this perfect picture pullout uh, in the album. And I know that she has her camera. Plus, I, of course, will take 4x6 pictures. And she can put journaling here or whatever you want to use. So there's room to do all kinds of stuff with this page. Okay. So I'm going to get right to this. Okay. Now I'm going to use navy because this is one of the pages for my lay flat binding album tutorial. Okay. So I'm going to be putting this page into this album that I made. And you'll be able to find that tutorial separately on my YouTube. Go stalk me. You'll find it. Get stalking people. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Okay, we're gonna do all of our cutting first. Now, the base page measurements for this album, I'm gonna let you know so that if you want to just make a, another page, okay, I'll just show you this right now. This is going to fit on any page that is this size or bigger, okay? So if your base page is 5 and 5 eighths by 7 and a half or bigger, you can fit this, what I'm about to show you, onto that page, okay? So your base page, again, will have to be at least 7 and a half by 5 and 5 eighths, okay? So that's just so you know that or bigger. Okay, so we're gonna jump right in here. I'm gonna do this in one take because my computer and my photo editing software is driving me up the wall. Okay, first cut is going to be six and five eighths. Save this piece by seven. Okay, this piece here, you can save this for albums. It's enough to mat a 4x6 photo. Okay, so save that. Now, the second piece that you're going to cut, you're going to use this piece that you just cut off, and you're going to cut this piece at 4 and 1 half. And you're going to keep it at 12 inches. Okay, the last piece you're going to cut is going to be five and a half. So you're going to take this sliver, it's going to be five and a half by three quarters of an inch. Okay, so we're basically just taking the sliver off of there. All right. And this, I'm going to throw that in the garbage so I don't accidentally grab that piece. Thinking that's the piece I cut. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get out our scoreboard. I'm going to score these all at the same time. So you're going to score your three quarters of an inch by five and a half inch piece. And you're going to score it on the three quarter of an inch side at three eighths of an inch.
you're going to score your four and a half by 12 inch piece at six and a half by seven. And then what I want you to do is I want you to flip it over like that, okay? And I want you to rescore your six and a half inch score, okay? Then I want you to take the last piece, which is your six and five eighths by seven inch piece, and I want you to put it on the seven inch side on your scoreboard, and I want you to score it at one inch, and six and a half inches. And then I want you to take it, turn it around, and now you're on your six and five eighths inch side, and I want you to score this one at one half of an inch by six and one eighth of an inch. Okay. That's it for scoring. Okay. So here's your three pieces. First, I want you to take this piece and I want you to fold it over. Okay, burnish it really good. And we're gonna, you can use score tape if you like, but I'm going to use my art glitter glue. You can use any kind of glue, scotch quick dry, whatever. Adhesive is a personal choice. As Ginger Rop says, stole your line, Ginger. For those of you who don't know, Ginger is my sister's scrapper. Okay. She has a YouTube channel. It's awesome. You guys should go check her out. She makes some pretty cool stuff. She is one of my great inspirations. Okay. So you have this. Set it aside for a minute. Now what I want you to do is I want you to... Wow, this camera just keeps doing funky things. Okay, I want you to take this and I want you to take your short side and if you look, this is the mountain side so it's bumpy on this side. I want you to take it like that and I want you to fold it in like that. Line it up here and here. Give it a burnish. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take the whole thing, flip it this way, and then I want you to fold back. Let's move that out of the way. Fold back on that. Okay. And give it a burnish. Okay. So in effect, you have a Z. Okay, so there's, or Z, because you guys are American, if you're watching, Z. I say Z, because I'm in Canada, okay? So, what I want you to do now is I want you to lay this like this, okay? I want you to take your piece that you just glued, and you're going to glue it in here, and I want you to make sure it's even on both sides, so it will be a half of an inch on either side. Okay, and I want you to glue it and butt it right up against it so you can actually fold this over, make sure it folds. Okay, don't put it in there so tight that you're not going to be able to fold this back over. I want you to set it right on the edge of the score line where you burnished. Alright, so I'm going to glue it in. If the glue decides it wants to cooperate with me right now, yeah, mine. Oh. Darn. My bad. Didn't put the pin back in. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to set it in. Now I'm going to use the lines on my mat to line this up. Okay. Again, it doesn't have to be super exact. And you'll see why later. Okay, I'm going to flip it over, make sure it folds good. Okay, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down as well. So I'm going to flip this over. Okay, I'm going to spread the glue out. There's some glue there. Move that off. Take that off there. And don't worry too much about it because this is going to be on the inside of your little pull out mechanism and you're not going to see it. Okay. So what I want you to do as well, open it up and make sure this is not stuck down. Make sure there's no glue glopping out of there. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Okay, and set it aside. You put it, a book on top of it too, that will work. Okay, so I'm going to, for now, put my score tape on here. Okay, and this is the valley side. Oh, wait, I found my little guy. Look at that, he appeared. Okay. And I'm going to put score tape on all three of these sides. Like this. Now, we're going to be putting score tape on here, but it, we're not going to put it close yet. So I'm just going to put this in here for now. Okay. And then, I'll show you why in a second. I'm going to burnish this down. Alright, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip it over. Alright, and I am going to line it up best I can and find the middle. Okay, so I'm just using my lines here and I'm just spacing it evenly. Okay, because I want to find the middle of this for this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down in here. The bottom, you're going to have these tabs as a guide, and you're going to set them evenly along your score marks here. Okay. And then you're going to use the grid on your mat or a ruler or whatever you want to use. It doesn't matter as long as it's even. So it's like an inch and one eighth in on both sides. Okay. So I'm going to get my pencil out and make sure there's lead coming out of there, yep. And I'm going to put a mark on the score line that lines up with this piece, okay. Wow, that camera's really walking out. I wonder why. In a second, people. I have no idea why it's doing this. Wow. I don't know. I'm trying to do it in one take, and this is my take two. Okay, so you have this, and you have your pencil lines. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this. I'm going to get my craft knife out. Now, if you guys are so inclined, you can use scissors. That's what you're good at. Okay? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line so you guys can see it before I cut it. Okay? And then you'll understand. Because this is navy. And I know it's kind of hard to see. But if I put this pencil line on here, you will be able to see it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take it off of the... I'm going to put it on autofocus for a second. And you can see here, I'm basically cutting approximately a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, we can adjust it later. So I'm eliminating the score line here. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see that. Okay, so there's my pencil line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out with my craft knife. Okay. 
And I'm going to cut from my mark to my other mark. Mm, I can't see it. Yeah. Okay, there it is. And then I'm going to do it again on this side here. Okay. Oh, take it off auto for three. Okay, so I have a sliver. So I'm going to cut this out. Okay, and I'm going to cut it on the outside of not a lot, but I'm going to cut it on the outside of my pencil line. Okay, so it's going to give me a little extra leeway, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so I've cut that little sliver out of there. So you have a hole. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my score tape on here. Uh, maybe not. I'll give it a second. Okay, so I'm going to fold this over. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. Oh, I did it on the wrong side, didn't I? So I did. Oh, well, I can erase my pencil lines. So I'm going to flip it over. And I am going to take this piece and I'm going to slide it in here and make sure that it moves freely and it's not going to hang up in the sides. Okay? So basically, I have a little leeway. See how it's moving there? That's what you want. Okay? Now, I know that's going to work, so I'm going to put a piece of score tape. Now, I'm not going to go right along this space here. I'm going to just bring it up down a little. Okay? Like that. So you will see. Put it back on auto focus. So you can see I've left a space there. Okay? There you go. Okay. So that's that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these pieces off. All right. And I'm going to cut it on a slight angle here. And I'm going to cut it on a slight angle here. You don't have to go all crazy and do a huge angle. Okay. And I'm going to do the same here. Slight angle into the corner of where I scored. Okay. So that's what you're going to end up with. I'm going to do it again on this side. Okay, and then on the bottom ones here, you can just cut right across like we always do. Cut across the corner, like that, and like that. Put this in the garbage, and then we're going to fold all of these over and give it a little bit of a burnish so it stays where you want it to stay. And guys, if this video jumps around, I'm gonna I'm not even gonna look at this later. Just drop me a line and I'll do it again. But not today, okay? So uh oh, hold on. There we go. Okay. So here's what we have so far. Alright, if you have any pencil lines, now's a good time to eliminate them while you can lie this flat. But I don't. Oh, I did do it on the inside. Good for me. Okay. So I want you to take this piece first. All right. And I want you to just peel back your score tape. Now, if you're using the art glitter glue, hold on. Speaking of which, I'm going to put this pin back in here. Uh oh. And this is why I have problems. Oh. Sorry, I just want to put my pin back in. Okay, so I'm going to peel this up just a little tiny bit, and I'm going to take this side, and I'm going to stick it down there. Okay. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And this is on the one-inch side. Okay, we're not going to secure the bottom yet. So I'm going to take that and stick it down. Burnish it so it stays. So now we have this Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to take this 
all right? And it really doesn't matter which way you put this inside of this pocket, okay? You can put it either way, but the way I, I'll show you, the way I did it in here, okay? I had it so this long side is sticking out so I can open it up like this, and it's like that. Now, if you wanted to, you could do it so that when you pull it out, the short side comes out with it, but that's a whole other ball game, okay? That means you gotta score it different, you gotta fold it over, but so that's the way it's gonna be. So we have to take this, okay, and put, so we're holding it like this, we're looking at our score tape, and we are placing the pullout inside of here, okay? And what I want you to do is just take it now and burnish this down a little bit. I'm going to burnish this, okay? So before you go all crazy, make sure you've cut enough off of here so they're not overlapping and bubbling up. It's just going to lie on your page better. And flip it over, and I'm just going to hold it on the very bottom with this out, okay, with my fingers. And I want to make sure that it's sliding freely. Okay, if it's jamming up and it's giving you a hard time, okay, and it's not coming out easy, because it's going to be pretty tight once you glue it down in your book, okay, or not glue it or use your score tape or whatever. So you want to make sure it's sliding really easy. If it is not sliding easy, it's probably because it's catching on these. So you can, at this point, give it a little trim, okay, and I'm talking a little trim like that and do that on both sides okay and that will eliminate this page sticking when you go to pull it out okay so I'm gonna put this back in and like I said before you stick it down to any pages or anything you want to make sure everything's working okay so there it is. So it's working. It's moving around good. Mine's actually really loose now because I trimmed it off to show you. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my mechanism's in there. These are in there. Everything's in there. Okay. I'm going to get my book and I'm going to get my page and I'm going to make two of these and I'm going to stick it in the middle page here. Okay, so I'm going to do one to show you. Okay, so this is my middle page. See, there's my lay flat binding. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I want this to be pushed in all the way. All right, you can put it right up to the edge if you want. And then you have a little bit more here. You see that? I don't know if you guys can see that. Or what I did in this book is I had pushed it in and this is lined up with the edge of this page. So I pushed everything in. That's why I have this gap here. Okay, but if you have bigger pages, you can stick this anywhere on a bigger page. Let me go grab a big page and I'll show you. Mike, I hope it's not that good because my son's screaming in the basement. Oh. Anyway, so here's a bigger page, okay, that I think this is from the Vintage Memories album that I made a while ago. Anyway, so here's a bigger page, so you can stick it this way, okay, and you can just trim this off a little. I wouldn't, personally. You can actually go this way on the page as well, and you can have it pull out this way, and then you can fold it down right so options you have lots of options with this okay like I said as long as the page is bigger than this you are good to go or sorry and this as well all right so I'm gonna just stick it down in my book and I'm gonna line it up with the edge like I did with the other one because I already have a plan for that so at this point, I am going to take off my score tape. Right. 
And you can be brave. I'm usually not this brave. Usually I just peel off one side of the score tape and I stick it down and then I carry on with the rest. But being brave, I hope it doesn't bite me or haunt me. Okay. So I am going to see, and this is also a really nice thing about this lay flat binding. So I can actually put my pages into the binding and then, wow, this camera, and then I can embellish it. Okay. That's really driving me crazy. It's making me crazy, man. Camera's jumping all over. Oh well, okay. Get this done and I'll worry about that another day. So, here's the edge of my page. I'll put this under here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay? And I'm going to push this in all the way. I'm going to make sure that it's not popped out because once this thing is down, you don't want to go messing with it, right? So, I am going to line this up with the edge here. And then I'm going to line it up top and bottom. And I'm going to cross my fingers here, and I'm going to stand up so I don't mess this up. Like that. And like that. And I'm done. And that's it. It's stuck down. I'm going to burnish it good. Okay, I'm going to turn this so you guys can see it. And look. So here it is. Bam! Done. Deal. Okay. So if you guys are looking for the tutorial for this, I will post what it is. It's going to be the perfect picture pullout page. Or perfect picture pullout. I don't know. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, go and get the... Uh, I'm doing the spring market collection with this. Okay this one and we're going to finish this off too oops upside down and stay tuned i'm going to do a tutorial for this and i'm going to do a tutorial for this okay but i thought i would let you guys get a jump start on doing these pages here okay because i made six of them and stuck six of them in this album all right thanks for watching guys and be sure and stop by country craft creations for the artisan cardstock. Okay. And have a great day, night, whatever time it is for you. Bye.